Hey guys, and oh my gosh, what a late night. Darlington, the cup race was rain delayed. It didn't start till a little later than 10 p.m. Eastern Time when it was supposed to start at like 6 15 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh my gosh, and Eric Jones gets his second career cup win, uh, his first of 2019. Man, what a late night it was. Throwback weekend continues in the Cup Series. And uh, yeah, it ended on Labor Day on Monday, September 2nd. So let's go through the results of the Bojangles Southern 500 at Darlington. So we have Eric Jones. Eric Jones is now locked into the playoffs. And um, with his first win of 2019... And uh, really proud of Eric Jones. He really drove a really good race. And uh, on the final laps, it really helped him out a ton that Kyle Busch smacked the wall tons of times. Uh, Kyle Larson gets second. Kyle Larson and his teammate at Chip Ganassi Racing, Kurt Busch, were both fantastic tonight. And Larson finishes the runner-up position. And, uh, yeah, he was really fantastic. Uh, I believe it's the second year in a row he finishes second. So Larson's really good at Darlington. Kyle Busch gets third. Kyle Busch won the second stage. And, uh, yeah, he... He was he was really good. He had to start in the back. They had to change a bunch of stuff before the race because they're they barely couldn't even qualify. And um, so he gets third after smacking the wall on the last laps. And that gave Eric Jones a really good cushion to go ahead and win the race. And they didn't call a caution or anything. So uh, Kyle wasn't happy about that after the race. But Eric Jones went on to win. Kevin Harvick gets fourth. Kevin Harvick kind of honestly struggled all day, but um, honestly, the Fords weren't that good all day, except for Keselowski at the beginning, which you could see finishes fifth, so those two got a top five. Six, we get Clint Boyer. Clint Boyer is now plus eight in the playoff situation. There's only one more race left in the regular season, and um, that's Indianapolis next week, and Kyle Busch is now declared the regular season champion, uh, so he gets 15 extra playoff points, and Boyer's plus 8 now. He uh, definitely not comfortable by any concerns, but he is currently in uh, 15th in points. Seventh, we have Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch won the first stage, led a bunch of laps. He was really good today, just like his teammate Larson, and um, yeah, finishes 7th, a solid top 10 finish. Uh, definitely not... Uh, the speed of his car was definitely better than 7th place, but um, at least he gets a top 10. Could have been a lot worse. Matt Benedetto gets 8th. Matt Benedetto gets another top 5. Really impressing me this year. Proving himself worthy of a better cup ride even than where he is now since he's not returning to Levine next year. So, really happy for De Benedetto getting 8th place. He was actually 6th on the winding down laps, but uh, he got passed by Boyer and Kurt Busch. Paul Menard gets ninth. a really quiet, solid top 10 finish for Paul Menard. Loved his throwback scheme. And uh, back to Glenn Wood. Uh, Austin Dillon gets 10th, really quiet day, came from nowhere pretty much. Nice throwback scheme as well. Back to Richard Childress, gets a top 10. Daniel Suarez gets 11th. Uh, he is on the bubble, 16th in points. In, but plus zero over Ryan Newman. Daniel Suarez and Ryan Newman got into a, a collision in the race and uh, spun Ryan Newman. And Ryan Newman says what goes around comes around. So Suarez may be uh, getting payback from Newman next week at Indy. Um, so Suarez kind of denied that he did anything. But we'll have to see what happens there. 12th is Chris Buescher. Busher just continues to impress me this year. Amazing job by Chris Busher. Uh, top 15 finish. Ryan Blaney gets 13th. Um, honestly, he was in the top 10 at the beginning of the race, but then he just dropped like a rock into nowhere. And I mean, honestly, a 13th place finish is good for honestly where he was most of the race. Joey Logano gets 14th. Him and Chase Elliott were racing really tight, and uh, Logano got mad at Elliott for actually racing him and 
put Ellie into the wall just a little bit. No bad damage, but Logano gets a top 15 finish out of tonight, or today. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. gets 15th. Uh, liked his throwback scheme as well back Dale Jr., and that was a really nice throwback scheme. So he gets a top 15. Jimmy Johnson, 16th. Jimmy Johnson had a great, great car, uh, but a crash where Ryan Newman and Hemrick got together, and then ultimately that ended up cutting Hemrick's tire down. Hemrick blew the tire, went spinning, caused huge damage onto Michael McDowell. Denny Hamlin was caught up in that crash. Jimmy Johnson was caught in that caught up in the crash, and Jimmy Johnson was running fourth when that happened. Jimmy Johnson was really having a really great run. He's like still minus 18 to the playoff bubble, so and he shaved his beard for this week. He's got a throwback to his old off-road truck, Butch. Like the throwback paint scheme, but uh, ultimately finishes 16th. 17th is Eric Almarola. Um, he had to go to a backup car after crashing in practice. He was in the 2002 Tony Stewart Championship throwback. Suarez was in the 2005 Tony Stewart Championship throwback. And Boyer, Clint Boyer, was in the 2011 Tony Stewart Championship throwback. Alex Bowman gets 18th. Alex Bowman was good there for a while in top 10, but ultimately finishes 18th. Bowman had a Tim Richmond throwback and had the mustache and wig for Tim Richmond, and it was the mustache was throwing or uh, coming off, so that was pretty funny. Chase Elliott gets 19th. Chase Elliott just didn't have that much of a good day at the beginning. He was, but uh, ultimately finishes 19th. He had to pit uh, off of sequence off of strategy late in the race unfortunately so that is not good for chase elliott but he's locked in no worries ty dillon is 20th uh pretty good day top 20 finish for ty dillon william byron the pole sitter uh colt trickle or cold trickle excuse me um days of thunder throwback tom cruise he was honestly one of my picks to win but uh, he gets 21st his pit crew was terrible pit stops were terrible all day and he got caught up in that crash with michael mcdowell pretty late in the race so that pretty much finished him off to finishing 21st ryan priest gets 22nd ron bouchard throwback ryan newman gets 23rd i already told you about everything that happened with him the collision with hamrick the collision with uh suarez and now he's tied for the last playoff spot he's actually below though in 17th place in the standings and, uh, yeah, he had a Mark Martin throwback. Bubba Wallace gets 24th. Bubba Wallace won the uh, best-looking uh, throwback scheme this weekend. It was the Adam Petty throwback for in, like, 1998, Adam Petty in ARCA. And Victory Junction was the sponsor. And uh, so that he deserves, that paint scheme deserves uh, to, to win that award. Uh, Landon Castle, Sterling Marlin gets 25th. David Reagan, I really loved his David Pearson throwback. Uh, unfortunately, this is probably his last Darlington race since he's retiring from full time after this year. And um, I really hope they make a die cast of that David Pearson throwback. That would be amazing. I just really like that car. They changed the font. That they changed everything on that. It was nice. Matt Tift gets 27th. Ross Chastain gets 28th. The Watermelon Man. Uh, Denny Hamlin gets 29th. He had a really good car. Finished 5th in the first stage. Uh, didn't win the Xfinity race, uh, got that taken away from him, Custer got it, but um, yeah, he got caught up, caught up in that crash as well with Jimmy Johnson, with um, with uh, Michael McDowell and Hemrick all spinning Hemrick blue tire, so that was just a complete mess, complete pile up. There's Reed Swartzen in 30th, he had the 50 years of MRN radio sponsor throwback, that was pretty cool, loved the blue on that. Joe Nemechek making his first cup start since Atlanta 2015 gets 31st. J.J. Ailey gets 32nd. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gets 33rd. He was on pit road for a while, never really mentioned why too much. Uh, so not a good day for Stenhouse. Joey Gase gets 34th. Garrett Smithley gets 35th. Uh, he spun early in the race. Corey LaJoy gets 36th. He kind of bumped Hamlin in his pit stall. He was coming out. Hamlin was coming in. That caused Hamlin even more trouble, even after that big crash. And uh, LaJoy had a Dale Jarrett throwback. Uh, same number back when Jarrett was in Xfinity. He had a crunch car that looked pretty much identical. So that was pretty cool how identical, 
identical that throwback was. Hemrick gets 37th. I already said how he blew a tire because of Newman and uh, says accident over there. He got just damaged like crazy. He got a DNF. Same with Michael McDowell was an innocent bystander of that. Probably got the most damage complete back of the car just destroyed he had a jimmy means throwback and light blue uh chrome numbers number 34 that was cool bj mcleod gets last in 39th place uh he had stroker ace throwback that was pretty nice but he scraped the wall so we have eric jones getting his second career win and with a throwback to himself in his early racing days larson had a ricky craven throwback kyle bush had a snickers Hut Strickland throwback, uh, Keslowski another rusty Wallace Wallace one like last year, but a different th- uh, paint scheme. Obviously, Boyer I already said one of the Tony Stewart championships. The eleven one Kurt Busch's throwback was pretty funny. It, it was a throwback to his own car that he actually drives. The Camaro was pretty much reddish orangeish with white stripes, and De Benedetto had a throwback to um, uh, forty years of Toyota racing development. Even though that was in IMSA what this throwback is to not really NASCAR and uh Harvick's car was pretty nice and uh yeah so thank you so much for watching this video guys a really late race and I will see you on the next video bye